I feel very sorry that our children avoid talking about the future, about plans, avoid making these plans. And when they start talking about it, they always start with the words, after the war is over. With these words, the First Lady of Ukraine, Olena Zelenska, opened the summit of First Ladies and Gentlemen. This marks the fourth summit. The topic this year was child protection, in particular, protection while the war is ongoing. The truth is that children are becoming victims of armed aggression, not only in Ukraine, but also in many regions of the world. When children start dying or disappearing somewhere, it's a challenge for the entire world, the entire world order, all conventions, agreements, human rights. This means that these conventions, agreements and human rights exist only on paper. And we see that paper does not protect against missiles. Only air defense does. As Zelenska stated, no country is able to ensure the safety of its children by itself. It is only possible to do so together in consolidation. What Ukraine has done so far is very impressive. I know there are centers for um, both child mental and physical rehabilitation already. It's true in all countries um, that being surrounded by a community of people who are united by a feeling of solidarity it is the best thing you can give a child in any circumstance. One of the topics that was discussed was the deportation of Ukrainian children, which Russia started in 2014. This year, we have spent the year tasked by the German government, the American government and the Swedish government to trace the Ukrainian children who have been stolen and taken to Russia. 19,000 of them, although there are probably more. This is a terrible, terrible crime, the deportation, the indoctrination. Ukraine was only able to return 388 children, stated Zelenska earlier. 1.5 million Ukrainian children live under the occupation of the Russian Federation. And every day, they're under the threat of deportation. The Russians cover up the abduction of Ukrainian children with so-called humanitarian programs. A month ago, the Russians took more than a thousand Ukrainian children from the temporarily occupied Kherson region to kabardino balkaria for the so-called rehabilitation. Among the guests at the event was American Francis Fukuyama, political scientist, economist and writer. He stressed that Russia, under Vladimir Putin's leadership, is one of the leaders of a global authoritarian government. And if she... Uh, is able to defeat Ukraine, who's going to go on to Moldova, to Georgia, to the Baltic states, to many other parts uh, of uh, Eurasia. One of the big issues uh, is that Russia can strike uh, Ukraine from inside Russia. They have a sanctuary there, and American restrictions on the use of long-range weapons has prevented Ukraine from striking back into Russia. This year, eight First Ladies and Gentlemen from all over the world were in Kiev to take part in the summit. The Ukrainian president also joined the event. One of the results of the summit was a joint declaration on the protection of children's rights. You are as a country an inspiration to the Western world. Uh, your strength has been inspirational. 